weirdos, what is up? My name is Becca, welcome back to my channel, and I'm doing another makeup tutorial. Nobody told me to stop, so I'm just gonna keep going until tell someone says, uh, hey Becca, you look ridiculous. Cause I don't feel ridiculous. Actually, that's not true, I feel 100% ridiculous. But, uh, people seem to like it, so I'm just gonna keep doing it until people stop liking it. The look we are going for today is this hot little number right here. We're working like a sunset, sandy beach kind of a deal. It's gloomy and overcast here and it's been rainy. So I'm taking myself on vacation with my makeup. <laughs> So I've taken all of my makeup off except for one eye and we're gonna and I'm gonna walk you through How to get this look uh, I'm working from a couple of different palettes today But I'm just gonna give you the overall the general color that you need. I'll show you the palette that I have but Whatever colors you have that work work. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so let's just get right into it. You're gonna start off with an orange you want to get as bright an orange as you can I am using the orange off of this professional spectrum palette however uh, you can get a lot of the same all of the same colors that we're using out of the palette we used last time it just sort of depends on whatever you have on hand but you do want an orange color and you're gonna bring that all into the eyebrow bow I 100% forgot to lay down a primer but I'm going to be taking this but I'm going to be taking this off soon so I don't need a primer then in your crease you're gonna go in with kind of an orangey orangey brown color kind of an orange red brown color kind of like a rust Rust, that's a good color, a good name. It's kind of a rusty brown color. You're gonna take that in your... We're just trying to deepen up the crease because we want it, again, it's all about color and light and dimension. Okay. Okay, so once you've got your orange and your brown, you're gonna go in with a darker brown. And I'm going for a darker version of this reddish brown, kind of this rusty brown into a darker brown. All right, and then we're gonna go in the corner with this Jab Jab color from the uh, Tropical whatever palette. This is just a super, super dark, almost bordering on black brown. We're gonna put that in the corner. Again, we're just bringing in dimension. We're going from really bright with the orange down into a dark. I'm also gonna take that black brown color under my eye. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Blend, 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 blend. Yeah, I like it, it's all right. It's okay, it's all right. Okay, now we wanna get this yellow in. And the key is you want the yellow to be as bright as possible, right? You don't want it to be kind of dull and flat. So how we're gonna do this is you're going to put a little bit of concealer on your lid and we're gonna do another cut crease. I'm really digging cut creases lately. I mean, it's not, it's not a true cut crease cause like this isn't like a sharp line, but whatever. I'm gonna put a little concealer on your eye and then you kind of see where your cut is gonna go. Then I put a little of the foundation, a little concealer on my hand because I'm going to paint it in with a brush so I can get it as accurate as possible. I have a little flat angle brush. And go and cut it in. And 
then I dab the edges. Cool, so they're not so hard. All right. Now for some yellow. I love this yellow. I'm going back and I'm using my professional spectrum palette, but you can use whatever bright, 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 bright sunshine yellow you can get your little claws on. It doesn't matter. But I am going to pack it in. It's off the cleanest brush you have. I just, I am throwing stuff all over the place. Pack your brush and then pat it on. Oh, I like it. It's so bright. Okay, so now we need a transition color, right? So we need something that's going to take the yellow into the dark brown. And I am going to use a gold, a yellow gold color. I'm using <laughs> my Metallics Professional Palette. Like I said, you don't have to use the same palettes as me. Then I'm going to go back with some of this Jab Jab color in the corner. I just blend it out. Like it. If you want, you can go in with your finger and get some of the gold on your finger and just pat it. As opposed to using the brush, because the brush sometimes. Messes it up. Actually, I might do that on the other side too. And then a highlighter of whatever kind you want for your eyebrow bone. I'm gonna use a nude shimmer if you want to know what I'm using again. I'm cheap. This is LA Colors. I got it from Big Lots. Like, I originally got it for art purposes to like paint with. But, oops. But that didn't work. But I'm just using a nude kind of skin color. It's all shimmery. And up there. Yep. All right. Again, I'm all. It's all. It's cheap. I'm cheap. You know. I don't. I'm not really expensive with anything. All right. So you're gonna go in and do your brows. I'm using the same brow gel that I used before. Uh, make me brow. Make them. Make them brow. I think it's supposed to be a play on words. Make them brow. Maybe I don't know. And just darken them in. Fill them in. I'm not doing a fluffy brush brow with this one. Cool, 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 cool. And then some mascara. No, I lied. Some eyeliner. And then some eyeliner. And then some mascara. One of these days, these tutorials will be better, I promise. Maybe not. I don't know. Little winged eyeliner. I really feel like eyeliner makes the look pop, you know? Brings it all together, completes it. Slick. And then your mascara. I am using, I honestly don't even know because uh, all, I peeled the sticker off. Whatever mascara you use, it doesn't matter. Got that mascara on. I'm gonna do my under waterline. And then add your lashes. I'm using my Rimmel Lash Glue. Boom, eyes, right? Voila, that is good. Cool. So now, is that makeup or a shadow? It's makeup, in case you were wondering. Ooh. 
Cool, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put on my face. I don't need to tell you how to put on your face. You know how you like to put on your face. So do your concealer if you need it. I don't need any. Do your foundation, do your contour, whatever you gotta do. I am of course going to go in and do freckles because I love doing freckles. I don't know if I can be convinced otherwise. I love them. Especially with like a sunshiny look, I feel like freckles are cute as heck. I don't think I showed what I used for my freckles, I put it in the drop box, but I don't think I actually showed you last time. It's dirty as heck because it's in my thing. Um, then once they're on, you're just gonna come in and block them. Now, if you're not doing anything, right? If you're just hanging out at the house, but you really like the freckles, um, if you put the self tanner on and you leave it and you don't touch it for a couple of hours, uh, and then wipe it off, the freckles will stay. These ones, this will wash off as soon as I take my makeup off, like it's not anything. Okay, so now I have my face, so now I'm gonna do a lip color. Let's see what pink looks like. Let's see what pink looks like with this. This is again, elf pink. Nope, I do not like it. No, 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 I don't like it. Oh shit, this stuff isn't going off. Okay. That's fine, whatever. <laughs> We're gonna put a color over the top of it anyway. Oh, actually, I like that. Okay. So we're at, we're leaving that. That's the look. This is Elf Berry Sorbet. It's the lip plumper line. It does not plump your lips. Nothing actually plumps your lips. Maybe your lips look bigger after you use some of that lip, like lip injector stuff, but like, that's because you're having an allergic reaction to like chili powder. You're just irritating your lips. Hold on, we're gonna step it up a little bit. This is, I have like a pinky gold color eyeshadow. sunset. So this is the final look. This is what we're finally uh, left with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't take shit seriously. I'm the worst. <laughs> Alright guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you're going to try it. <laughs> let me know if I should do more of these. I mean, this is only my second makeup tutorial. It was probably Trish, but uh, I tried to keep it faster instead of it being 20 minutes, speeding it up a little bit, you know what I mean? So you can, you can get in and out, get our makeup done and get on with our lives. Um, either way, I have all of my crapola linked below. I've got my merch, I've got TikTok, I've got Instagram linked down there. If you're not already following me, you should definitely follow, you should subscribe, like, do all of those YouTube flavored things and I will see you in the next video. Uh, just so you know, if you've ever wanted to create a black hole of awesome, you do one of these looks, wear like a weirdo shirt or like a black cherry heart shirt, 
and then you pose in the coolest pose you can think of, and then you send me that picture. And that picture will create a black hole of cool, if you ever wanted to know. It's scientific. I talked to an astrophysicist, and he said, yep, that's, that's how you do it. <laughs> I love you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.